Tonight we report on what caused a house fire near Royal City and why an attempted murder charge was dropped for two men in a 2012 shooting. What's happening in sports, Bob? Thanks, Alan. Quincy wrestlers dominate Grandview and Moses Lake swim and dive comes up big in the pool. Let's take a peek at our weather center forecast. Hello everyone, more cloud cover around our area, but we're expecting precipitation for the second half of the work week. I will have all the details for you in just a bit. I'm Alan Troop and we have all this and much more on iFiber One News. From the iFiber One HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is iFiber One News. Your number one source for local news, sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is iFiber One News, and it starts now. A portable heater is suspected to have started a fire that destroyed a home and injured an elderly man near Royal City. His dog is presumed to have died in the blaze. The man was the lone occupant in the single wide mobile home Monday night it was near the intersection of Road 12 Southwest and Road B.2 Southwest. According to Grant County Fire District 10 Chief Brian Evans, the man was burned attempting to put out the flames. He reportedly suffered second and third degree burns and has been taken to Harborview Medical Center in Seattle. Evans said the injuries are likely not life-threatening. The fire appeared to have started at a portable heater in one of the rooms. It's not clear at this time if the heater malfunctioned or there were items too close to the heater. Evans said several people heard a dog still inside the home but never saw the dog come out. The dog is presumed dead. The Moses Lake Farmers Market is hoping to keep the annual 4th of July fireworks show going after it was cut from the city's budget. Reporter Cameron Probert has the story. The Moses Lake Group is working to bring back the fireworks show. The City Council endorsed a plan from the Moses Lake Farmers Market to organize the 4th of July fireworks show. The group needs to raise at least $16,000 to donate to the city to pay for the show. The 4th of July celebration was one of the items cut from the 2015 budget after city officials predicted a $1.8 million deficit. Carmen Rimple, a Farmer's Market board member, said Farmer's Market representatives met with city officials to discuss holding it again. They were told if they can raise the money, the city can contract with the company for the fireworks. As we understand it, the city doesn't have the money to pay for it, um, and we want to keep it going. City Manager Joe Gavinsky said he normally signs the contract with the fireworks company by the middle of March. He said it would be nice to have the money available by the time the contract is signed. Rimple said since announcing the plan, market officials received 1,200 responses. For i Fiber one News, this is Cameron Probert reporting. The Grant County Sheriff's Office named the driver in a crash that closed Road K Northeast near Moses Lake on Tuesday. Chelsea Palmer, a 41-year-old Moses Lake resident, was injured and transported to Samaritan Hospital and then a Spokane Hospital. According to Sheriff's Office spokesman uh, Kyle Foreman, Palmer was driving a 2005 Chevrolet Malibu in the 5600 block of Road K Northeast Tuesday morning. Her car left the road, struck a ditch, and rolled sideways twice before coming to rest on its wheels. She was unconscious when emergency services found her. She was taken to Samaritan Hospital and then to a hospital in Spokane. The crash is being investigated by the Grant County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The prosecutor's office dropped an attempted murder charge against two men accused of a November 12th shooting. Freddie Goldston, a 46-year-old California man, pleaded guilty to unlawful possession of a firearm, possession of methamphetamine, and assault. He was sentenced to 20 years. James Boyd, a 25-year-old Fort Washington, Maryland man, pleaded guilty to rendering criminal assistance. He is serving a sentence of 18 years. Prosecutor Garth Dano said charges of attempted murder and drive-by shooting were dropped. He said the plea bargain sentences ensure both men stay in prison for about 20 years and save the county the cost of two trials. The men were in an SUV and pulled up to a Moses Lake gas station. One man hid behind the vehicle and shot at the victim. 
He got back into the SUV and they fled. Police caught them later while they were carrying nearly half a pound of meth. And now we take a look at people being sought by law enforcement. This is Sheriff Tom Jones with the Grand County Sheriff's Office. Each of the people you see here have a warrant for their arrest. If you see any of these people, we ask you to not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but call us at 509-762-1160 or send us an email at primetips at co.grant.wa.us. If the person is presenting a danger, call 911. With your help, we can bring these people to justice and make our community safer. And we'll be back right after this.